All right, I'm going to make a quick video about Sam Broadcaster. I spent 12 plus years uh, on commercial radio stations in the radio broadcasting industry, and I uh, recently uh, ventured off and did my own thing. I created my own digital broadcasting station, KHHA. It's a station that plays old school hip hop and R&B. Uh, KHHA stands for Keeping Hip Hop Alive, which is also the URL keepinghiphopalive.com. Um, Having worked in commercial radio for so many years, I, I've worked with many radio automation software, and I would like to publicly and proudly say that Sam Broadcaster is on par with a lot of those radio automation softwares that a lot of the commercial stations use, for example, uh, Enco, uh, DSS, the David Scott Studios, or even uh, the Next Gen Profit that Clear Channel uses. Uh, Sam Broadcaster is on that level, and it does uh, a lot of things that some of those programs don't even do. So I'm going to jump right into it. Now, when you open the program, you have three desktops. This is A, this is B, and this is C. Now, you can configure each desktop to your liking. This is how I have it, um, where I have both my decks and I have an auxiliary. Now, you can have up to three auxiliaries, and you can put whatever, whatever you want. You can just play it over... Uh, each individual deck or standalone if you want uh, that's pretty self-explanatory then you have the statistic statistic <laughs> relays graph now what that is uh, you can actually know how many listeners you have at any given point in time for example it depends on how many relays you set up now on mine I only have my shoutcast uh, it doesn't give a true um, reading on who is listening to my station at the moment because I have more than just that however on just my shoutcast if you look in the top right it says viewers uh, it says one and then the peak is like how many have been on the shoutcast uh, relay uh, within the past few hours so that's just on that if I set up all of my relays there it will give me a true reading on how many listeners I have at any uh, given time moving along to fade control I never really uh, mess with the fade control. Uh, Sam Broadcaster does a pretty good job of uh, fade outs and uh, segs into the next element, whether it be imaging or a commercial or song or whatever. Um, but if you really want to get into it, you can really get into it. Uh, down here, moving along to sound effects. Now, sound effects is really cool. It's like the wall on the next gen profit where you can put, you know, whatever, you know. Or if, you know, I wanted to put like an instrumental, you know, whatever I want to put there. Now, voice effects is where uh, I have my mic. When I want to go live on the air, you know, I just turn the mic on, you know, press the talk or I can hit F11 on my keyboard. Uh, that's also pretty self-explanatory. You can actually have an auto, uh, the volume can automatically go down or you can set it manually yourself. Uh, and then here's the mic over the music but uh, I have it on automatic moving along into voice tracking now a lot like the other professional commercial radio automation softwares you have the ability to track and that means uh, basically you can be on the air you don't even have to be near the studio computer or even in the studio at all so voice tracking is a nice way to just basically track your on-air shift and basically record and schedule it and be done with it the cue is the playlist. Now, uh, you can manually add songs, you know, in a playlist, or you can add like a like an M, uh, a M3U playlist or, or whatever you want to do, or you can just manually. Let's say you, you run out of a playlist and your songs, they run out. You can have what's called an auto DJ, where it will randomly choose songs in your playlist now these are all the songs i have in my playlist you can randomly it will randomly choose and it will make sure something is always on the air so uh that's the playlist here is pretty much my song library and you know you have over here like sound effects or uh you know station ids etc etc uh moving along you know here's my relays i talked about earlier encoders is how i go and broadcast uh, on the air if I don't want to have it uh, ran off of my server that I use. And I use Voscast, and I like, I like Voscast because uh, whenever I'm not broadcasting from here on SAM, it will 
just like the auto DJ on Sam Broadcaster, it will automatically randomly choose music to play that I uploaded to their server. Uh, you can do an event scheduler, a PAL scripts or different things. Like, for example, uh, you can have like your legal ID at the top of every hour. Or you can do whatever you want. Um, FM transmitter is if you you buy an FM transmitter card, a PCI card for your uh, your computer, you can actually uh, get on an actual FM. I mean, it's going to be low power, but like it's good. Like let's say like a like a drive-in theater or uh, like a theme park wanted to put their information on a uh, FM transmitter signal. Like right now it's 102.9, even though I don't have an FM transmitter at the moment. Moving along, you know, this is just more stuff. It's just different layouts of what Sam is and what Sam can do. And it's just uh, an amazing piece of software. And I highly suggest it to anybody out there that is wanting to do uh, basically what I'm doing is having a digital broadcasting radio station. So uh, I would definitely look into it. If you want more information about it, Google Sam Broadcaster or go to spatial, S-P-A-C-I-A-L, spatial.com and check it out. It's definitely worth it. Thanks for watching.